Noni Matawaki is coming to Chelsea and I'm going to play off that name because this is in fact wacky. We already have enough wingers at this club but we will talk about why this is a good signing but really it does kind of beg the question what's all going on in this transfer window because we already just signed a winger. Modric is coming in and should be starting against Liverpool. Now, I don't think Noni will be playing this weekend because him coming in right now from PSV. I don't see that happening. It'll probably be the next match, if not a little bit further down the road. But we've now brought more wingers in this entire season. I can't even remember the last time we brought this many wingers in. Raheem Sterling might be on the way out, it seems like, then, because with all these players coming in, there's not room for players like Sterling who are just going to sit on the bench. I can't imagine a player of his caliber wanting to come to Chelsea and now just sit on the bench. He most likely is going to ask for some type of transfer. Same with Pulisic, maybe some of our other players. ZH, I, again, would make sense. But what we're seeing right now is obviously a massive rebuild for Chelsea and for Graham Potter, getting players that he wants to bring in because we've already brought in, again, a left wing. Now we're bringing the right wing. We may go out and buy another striker during this transfer window, yet I wouldn't be surprised. We still need a midfielder. That's a big concern. And we still need a right back because we cannot rely on just ask Phil Quinton and Reese James this entire season because, yes, we have half a season to go yet in Champions League. There's a lot that could happen in between that time frame. Now, really, the real reason why we did sign this player is obviously future-wise. This has been a game plan for Todd Boy and the whole board. Now, a lot of people are saying this is very chaotic what is going on, but we keep signing these younger players that are really early 20s, and we're not just building for next season, we're building for the next decade for Chelsea, and we're doing that to back Graham Potter. We're doing this because time and time before this, we kept sacking managers and kept rebuilding, sacking managers, rebuilding, and what it ended up causing is this Frankenstein-type team, which we've seen just struggle the last two seasons. Yes, we have great games, but we also have poor games. And there's really not a fluidity between all our players. Some players have good games, some players have poor games, and there's just not this connection. And the main game plan, I believe, that Todd Bowley is trying to establish with all these signings, with Graham Potter, is to build from the bottom, have a great foundation with all these younger players, and yes, keep some of our older players to help mentor them, get them prepared to be the next level stars for Chelsea. And as this goes on, we are going to see a great team develop from this and could possibly dominate not only the Premier League, but also Champions League as well. And that is a big, big task for any club to do. But what we're seeing right now is the groundwork for that. And I think we are getting the players that we definitely need that can still be shaped and formed into the players that we want and also believe in the tactics and the philosophy from Graham Potter because what you need is players that do believe in the system. If they come in and don't think it's going to work, they're pretty much not going to do what they're told. And that causes this little bit of dysfunction. And then again, the team does not flow the way it should. And you start having this weaker area that teams will attack, obviously. And so right now, we are trying to gel all these younger players, get them to play the best football that they can play. And from there, keep growing, keep growing, and get so massive that we start dominating every single match that we play. Kind of like we did back when Abramovich first came on board at Chelsea, we bought all these players, John Terry, Frank Lampard, Didier Drago, Peter Cech, just to name a few players that, in my humble opinion, did fairly well at our club. We can see the same thing happen now with Todd Bowley with all these players. Now, like I said, we cannot jump the gun right away with these players. We have to give them time. Same with Graham Potter. Give him some time to start getting everything developed and going in the right direction because when we get in the right direction, we are going to be an unstoppable force and people finally will realize what we've been trying to do and we won't be laughed anymore. Not that we're really laughed at anyways. We, I mean, obviously have a poor first start of the season, but there's still a half a season yet to go. And we can still make up a lot of points in this entire Premier League and we still have Champions League. So who knows how that can go as well for us. So I'm very happy with the signing of Noni. Yes, it is questionable because again, we already have all these attacking players, all these wingers, which again, do make it kind of congested up top and obviously that's going to be difficult if we can't offload some of these players in the January transfer window and have to hold on to all these players but we've also been hit with a lot of injuries so 
who knows how long some of these players will stay healthy, but I think this is a great signing. So I want to know what you guys think. So comment down below if you think this is a good signing, a bad signing, or we will kind of see how it goes with Noni. So that is all I have for you today. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that. I hope to get this video to more and more fans such as yourself. And that is it. And I will see you in our next video.